when a child starts regressing and therefore becomes more sensory dismodulated, you know, needs more, more sensory integration work, uh, you, you've got to figure out why the child has regressed. And you've got to work with the parents and, look at, and, and get the therapeutic team together. Everyone puts their head together and tries to figure out what's going on here. Usually there are a couple possibilities that need to be explored. Sometimes things are going on in the child's environment. It could be the school environment that's overloading the child. It could be the family environment. It could be a sibling. It could be extended family. It could be a change in diet. It could be change in season with pollens and physical. It could could be a child's on a medication. Uh, it could be a variety of factors. It could be a maturational shift in the child that's uh, you know actually creating overload because it's uh, etc. I had a, a note. Someone raised the question about. What do you do with a child who's experiencing hormonal changes? And therefore, uh, it's a very similar kind of issue. Let me just get that note up here. Um, a child who is violent, experiencing hormonal changes, very entrenched in his or her strategies uh, for home and school, is very controlling to the point that all caregivers are frightened by the level of violence to self and others, uh, and giving it to his wants and needs. Well, again, you've got to see what's driving the engine here, what changes are predominant. Usually what I see is, is that there's a number of changes that usually lead to regression. It uh, could be start off with hormonal changes like child going through puberty or early adolescence, but then often the inv home environment or the school environment may, re may react in the wrong way to this child. So frequently children become more willful, the school environment may become more punitive and more controlling and actually increase the problem rather than decrease it, rather than working on soothing and regulating this child. Uh, so you've got to explore, and once you explore, if you can identify factors, obviously you modify them. In general, when a child regresses, you usually have to go back to the basics. A lot of soothing interaction, a lot of basic floor time, re-engage the child, get those continuous circles of communication cooking, get a lot of affective expression going, help the child gradually modulate better and better and regulate better and better and then work up the ladder again. So you have to go back to the basics often, but you've got to explore. And I find that if we're an occupational therapist or physical therapist, we may not feel we have the license to explore that with the family, but somebody in the therapeutic team has to sit down and figure out what's cooking here.